What's going on, Cole Connor here. Today, I'm gonna tell you how to import and use Lightroom presets. Using the ones that I use all the time for interior, exterior, drone, real estate, which you can get in the description, because I made them. We're gonna import, we're gonna apply, and we're going to tweak. Hey, Cole. <laughs> My name is Cole Connor, and I was put here to do three things. Create, inspire, love. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. We're gonna be working on single shot images, HDR images, and some drone images. I'm not gonna do the full edits of each one, but I'm just gonna show you kinda of how to play with it. All right, now let's hop into the computer. All right, so we're gonna take these images here, boom, throw them in here. We're mixing them all together. Yeah, to import the photos, in case you don't know, is you open up Lightroom, Lightroom Classic. You could click import in the library section, and you throw them in like I just did, and bada boom, bada bing, here you are. And then we wanna order these appropriately. Are they ordered? Yeah, they are, okay. Develop, boom. So when you're importing a preset, this is how you do it. You download the presets. Like for me, you go on uh, my Shopify store, which is linked below if you want these. Um, you download and then you're going to import the XMP file. How do you do that? So over here is a presets section right here. You go here import presets very simple and then wherever you download the files you go to your downloads you click the double click the xmp file boom it'll import now i've already done that so you can see i have lots of um presets here and so today we're going to do the ones that i sell which for this would be the drone ones Ooh, ah for this one i'm going to pick shadow drum boom so I applied it, it's already edited. This is what the difference, boom, boom, boom. So I, didn't, I don't like the way the auto works on this one. I'm gonna take it off. I'm not gonna do full edits of these. I'm just kind of showing you. With all presets, you're gonna have to tweak it. So I might not need anything. I kind of like, I'll do a little rotate there. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and say, I'm gonna cool it slightly and then up the exposure a little bit down the shadows honestly it's pretty good so we went from that to that already and of course you can always add brushing and things like that but we're not getting into that boom next one this is a beautiful house i think this one was designed by a richard nortra i think is how you say it Ooh, sunray drone yeah i'm going sunray shadow Sunray, shadow, sunray. I'm gonna go sun. Um, but I went up the exposure a teensy and shadows a teensy. Honestly, I really like where that one is already. Boom. Maybe what I would do is just you know we're tweaking things. Uh, change the the watercolor a little bit bluer. There you go. And then same here. Oh, can't do that too much. Scoot. And maybe, yeah, cool. So boom, 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 crazy. All right, next up. Um, okay, now this is probably a little bit more of a difficult one, but now we're gonna use, these are my most popular ones. This is the interior presets. Um, but I recommend just getting the ultimate bundle. That's where you get drone, virtual twilight, exterior, interior. Warm detail. That's not right, let's see here. For this one, Interior Airbnb, that's probably what I'll use. I, I use that one a lot. We have regular interior, interior blacks. Ooh, maybe I'll do that one. Interior saturated, interior yellows, interior two, three, huh. I'm gonna go, I think blacks. Reset, boom, boom. See the difference there. Yeah, so this photo, it is a little more tricky because you have to do more than just apply a preset. Where's Airbnb? I'm gonna go Airbnb. Um, and for Airbnbs, they usually like it really bright, but this isn't an Airbnb. So I'm gonna turn that down. It's also a little green. I'm gonna make it a little more pink. See, that's the problem is the temperatures are just slightly different on each side. So you would have to brush this ultimately. Um, and then also I'm gonna turn the shadows down. Boom, and this was taken on A7S III, so it's not, it doesn't have a ton of detail, and that's how you can see some of that noise. But what I would do really quickly, I'm not gonna do it perfect, so just saying, I would add a brush just to make that go down a little bit, and then I would add a second brush to make it less pink. 
a little bit. Boom. Um, and then, yeah, I might make this also a little less pink or less green, actually. So I might add another. I would add another brush and just kind of do that. Um, I, like I said, it's not perfect. Just doing it real quick. Boom. Okay, next up, we got, I want to show you just a variety of different ones. So if you have any questions or you're like wondering how the presets work or you don't know how to use them, you can do this. Okay, on this is another interior, Airbnb, blacks, Airbnb, black, saturated, yellows. I, for this shot, I think I like blacks on this one. Boom, we'll go back here. Yeah. Um, we're going to take this off. For some reason on vertical images, the auto is weird. Something like that. Let's go back, back, very subtle. We're going to up the exposure a little bit. Saturation. Nice. Boom. One of my favorite shots I've ever taken is this shot here. I think I'm going to go interior, interior. Interior, interior blacks. I just love interior blacks. I almost, this is one of my favorite photos I've ever shot and it was just so cool that I could just throw this preset on there and it works. Um, so cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go here. If I had to adjust it a little bit, I'll take that off. I'm gonna take, yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty good, honestly. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, for this photo, I think I did just crop it. And I don't even need to crop it all out. I'm using the top. Unlock it there. Just mainly the top. Boom. It's dope. I love it. I absolutely love it. Barely had to tweak anything. So for the HDR ones we're going to do, what we have to do is merge them together. So we're going to put shift click, shift click, and then command G. Boom. This is an HDR. Boom. And I just want to show you all that these work on HDR photos as well. This one, this is a five bracket HDR. And yeah, cool. So just for the HDR ones, we're going to go boom. And then after you merge them, or you really you are stacking them, and then you're going to actual merge by photo merge HDR. It's going to add it to your operations up here. And I do have a video just on merging as well, if you need help with that. All right, so now these are merged. So, boom. You can see, you know, the HDR, it makes it just pop a little more. And so we'll go back to the exteriors here. Exterior cool, exterior two. Yeah, exterior cool is just a little bit brighter, so I'm just gonna do that. Brighten up even more. Change the temp a little bit. Cut the shadows down. And then I might raise the, and sometimes you can mi mix and match. Like the drone ones sometimes look good on the exterior. Um, the, even sometimes the interior ones can look good on the exterior, just depending on what it is. Um, let's see what Airbnb, boom. Yeah, Airbnb probably would look good. Just gotta turn the exposure down, boom. No, I like, I like that better. Okay, cool, that's it, boom. So then we do another one here. Ugh. A single cool, ooh, a little single cooler, single. Mm, I really like this one. It's just more yellow for this particular outdoor space. Maybe I'll, I'll cut it back a tad. But yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. Boom. Um, okay, now let's go here. This is another this is a front of house shot. So a lot of times with the front of house shots, I feel like you can, it'll, can get kind of yellow, especially around here. So you got to be careful. You see, it's already doing it there. That's why I might go cooler, but maybe not. I think I'm going to go this one actually. And then I'll take off the auto. Constrain crop. Bada boom, bada bang. Let me cut that down, cut this up. You're golden. Golden. All right. Now, this is another one of those. This is back to the interiors. Um, I mean, I should have maybe organized these better, but let's just, uh, we'll continue with these uh, a couple outside shots. Single. Uh, let's see, for this one, I don't like it as yellow. It's a little too yellow. So we'll do exterior cool. And honestly, I'm pretty 
set with where that's at. Yeah, the auto on the vertical is weird, but I could even up the exposure a little bit. I like that a lot. Um, boom, we'll go another exterior. Don't like it as yellow for this. Oh, yeah, that's it. Boom, barely have to touch anything. Rotate it. I'll take, yeah, just take it off. Take the auto off. Boom. I love it. Same concept here. I'll just copy them. And that's what I do. I don't like go through every one. And I just, if it works on one outside shot, you just copy it. You go to this one. Boom. You paste it. It's pretty close. You just up the exposure a little bit. Boom. Cool. All right. So now let's just hop into a couple more interiors. So let's go back down here. I am going to guess the blacks is going to be the best. It looks pretty good. Saturated. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go blacks. Just because it has that black in the middle. And what the blacks one does, it just makes the blacks a little more black. Which I like. Um, beautiful. Barely have to touch that at all. Probably the same here. But this one I might go Airbnb. Yeah. A little brighter. A little airier. A little more colorful. We'll take off the auto. That's a big thing. Is like Sometimes the auto works in the transform section. But just take it off if you don't like it. Okay, and then exposure down. Beautiful. Ooh, I love the shot. Okay, so probably Airbnb or saturated. I think I'm going to go Airbnb. Just turn the exposure down a little bit. Holla! And then, oh, I hated that this tag was there. I mean, you could just remove it, but I did like the shot. I remember Airbnb. I'm going to do Airbnb again. This house just looks, it was so nice. And then obviously I'll probably just crop this out a little bit. That is how you import, use, tweak Lightroom presets. Whether you just bought some of my presets or you're thinking about buying or you now want to buy or you're just learning how to use presets, thank you for tuning in. You can check out my presets in the description. Um, it helps me support the channel and keep making videos like this. So I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Hi there. Thanks for watching. If you really liked it, maybe you'll like some of these too. While you decide, here's some music. Enjoy!